Well, I had a call from the political correspondent for the Melbourne Sun, and he rang me to say that there was a report of a VIP missing in the sea at Portsea. I was under the shower, draped the towel around myself a bit, came out to the hall where the telephone was. What do you want, Hildebrand? He said, the Prime Minister has gone for a swim, he's gone out and he can't be found, and the Chief Commissioner says, you ought to go and take charge of the search. And I said, stop bulldusting, Hildebrand, what's the matter? Wild, deserted Cheviot Beach, two hours' drive from Melbourne, was Holt's favourite skin-diving location. Throughout the afternoon, civilian, police and Navy divers risked their own lives in search of the Prime Minister. The water was so murky, so turbulent, the undertow was so great, they couldn't see anything, they couldn't get anywhere. Suddenly, it was like a war zone. It was jammed with people and aircraft and boats and everything. Unprecedented in Australian history that so much effort should be invested in finding one person. Looking at the state of the water, it was pretty turbulent. And I was a bit surprised that somebody would go swimming in that condition. At 5pm, the Prime Minister's wife, Zara, flew into Melbourne from Canberra. Lots of the people down on the beaches along Port Phillip Bay heard that Mrs Holt was heading down to Portsea and they'd come out and stood on the side of the road, stood sort of heads bowed, quietly, just standing there, wanting to pay their respects to Mrs Holt. Mrs. Holt went straight to the family holiday home at Portsea to wait for news. Meanwhile, the couple's sons joined the hundreds of rescuers at the beach. It had been six hours since the Prime Minister was reported missing, and the weather was deteriorating. I didn't give up hope. I didn't sort of accept the fact that he was gone. We hoped that he'd turn up on a beach four miles down, washed away somewhere or something. Uh, an extensive search has been um, in operation since uh, approximately two o'clock today. Up until the present time, of course, we've found no trace of our Prime Minister. No, he certainly was not wearing flippers or wetsuit or anything of that kind. He was just going for a swim. There was only one person with the Prime Minister? There was only one person in the water with the Prime Minister. My thoughts about somebody finding a person alive after that time were pretty slim. I thought, well, there's a chance, but it's negligible, uh, unless he's been cast up on the shore somewhere. We were now looking for a corpse. Hello, Mr. Holt. 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 Hello, Mr. Holt.